Hi, thanks for stopping in. Today's costume of the day is my second generation cave woman outfit. Uh, this time around I was working retail so we had to keep it somewhat respectable. So I just made sure that all pertinent parts were covered up. I uh, went to the fabric store, grabbed some faux leather and faux suede. I found these pieces in the remnants, um, just grabbed whatever they had. And when I got home I uh, created a design, drew it out and then check to see if all the pieces I had were going to fit together like a puzzle there. So basically what I did was I just designed it myself, uh, got the pieces together, and decided how I was going to try and, and make them work. So what I did, which is, is actually two separate pieces, I have a top um, that I designed in a kind of a bodice type situation. It just slipped over the top there. And then I have the skirt, which a button on the side. So let me just climb over a doggy here who happens to be lying in the middle of the floor and I'll show you some detail. Alright, so here's a little bit closer detail. What I did, and I love a sweetheart neckline, so I went ahead and chopped it up and cut it out just like so. I did create a little tie faux front here uh, that's being held together with just a leather uh, string that I just kind of poked holes throughout and laced it up like a corset style. I have a piece of the faux fur underneath to kind of give it some uh, contrast and definition there. Even though we had to keep it respectable, I still wanted it to be a little form-fitting and a little sexy, you know, um, as long as I could still get away with it. So what I did was I created some darts and then took it in in the front line there as well. Added a little detail with some faux, uh, faux fur around the top there. Kept it with long sleeves so that I could keep my arms covered. Slipped a little panel underneath on both sides so that I could make that work since I was very limited on the faux leather but wanted it to be pretty much the whole top. In the back, just worked it down. Like I said, I wanted it to be a little bit form-fitting so I went ahead and put the darts in there. And there's our other side. Skirt, I did the same thing. I had uh, four pieces to work with that were left over after I made the top. And so I just kind of pieced those together as well. And luckily I had the biggest piece of fur left. And that was the back of the skirt. And what respectable businesswoman wouldn't be complete without her faux cape, her faux mink stole. And as far as the booties and the legs went, I just took more of the light fur that you're seeing here and some of the um, faux leopard cheetah print there that I had. And I wrapped that and some of the faux leather that I had left over around the calves of my legs. And then cut strips of fabric from the furs, the two different furs, and wrapped them around kind of ballerina style. I had a pair of moccasins, and believe it or not, they were the same pair of moccasins that I used in my very first cave woman outfit that was at least 20 years before this one. Um, and that completed the look. And I'll see if I can find a snapshot of me actually wearing this so that you can kind of see what the legs did. Um, my hair was kind of long and wild, well not long, but it was permed. So you know all ladies know what happens when you have a perm and you frizz it out. So that kind of completed the look. I'll see if I can't find a picture of this outfit on me. And uh, especially since I already know I cannot fit into this outfit to model it for you. And while I'm doing that, I will try to find a photo of the very first cave woman that I designed and created and see if I can't put that at the end of this video as well. So thanks a lot. Thanks for stopping in today and I can't wait to see you tomorrow for tomorrow's Halloween costume of the day.